Hey my loves, how you doing today? So today for you, I'm going to be doing a first impressions on the new Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. Now I'm very excited to try this. What it looks like, 24 hour full coverage. Alright. So let's read the claims on that. It is... It is... I got, I got, first of all, I got in the shade 110 Porcelain. Yes, I am very fair skin, you guys. And it is, full, it claim, the claims are full coverage, up to 24 hour wear, seamless matte finish, breathable and comfortable, fade and transfer, resistant, oil free, doesn't clog pores, and dermatologist tested. Sounds good. Alright, so let's get my hair out of my face. I do already have my eyebrows and my lashes and eyeshadow already done my eye makeup we are gonna go in with our photo finish smashbox primer now let's put a little bit back on the back of our hands oh now we are ready to go in with this foundation i'm really excited guys um I did do a trick earlier when I was doing my eyeshadow, my eyeshadow getting ready for this. Um, when I put my foundation, I have a little trick. I'm not going to tell you guys just yet. You guys have to hold off on that. All right? It's too early for me to share. But don't get me wrong. I've heard other people say they do this as well. It's not my trick. But I do do it as well. And like I said, I can't tell you guys just yet. But I will definitely let you guys know in the future. And if you really want to know that trick about what I do with my foundation, to help it stay better on my nose keep watching and you will definitely find out because it will be coming in one of my upcoming videos so if you want to see that you gotta subscribe click the bell for more notifications from me so you can see what new videos I'm coming up with so me personally I don't put my foundation on the back of my hand I put it on one of these it's just like a tin so let's dump some of this out alright that's one drop Probably going with a little bit more. Just like about two and a half drops, I think. I put a little bit much, but we will see. So I'm gonna do half with an arm brush and the other half with my Real Technique sponge. So we will see how it goes on with a brush and how it goes on with a sponge. So whatever you prefer, you can do it with. Now before, I never, ever, ever would do my makeup, my foundation with a brush. It just wasn't my thing. It, I feel like it was streaky. It didn't look good. But now I have um, this new brush. The it Cosmetics brush. Oh, my goodness. I love it. The woman who worked at Ulta told me it is like an airbrush finish. Because I told her, I'm like, oh, I don't like using brushes. She, she told me I would love it. Let me tell you. She was 100% right. I absolutely love this brush and honestly I have not since I got this brush I have not used um used my real technique sponge to do foundation unless I'm doing you know a comparison like I am gonna do today but believe it or not since I got this brush today will be my first time doing my foundation with my Real Technics brush, sponge. So yeah, I'm just going all over my face here. And if you see me looking right here, it's because I'm looking into my mirror or over here, I'm looking into my computer screen monitor. Cause I have it like, you know, I have myself over here nice and big so I can see if I'm in focus or if it's good. And then I have my mirror right here. So yeah, we're gonna go into a real coverage. Now you see I'm putting it down here because you don't wanna not go down on your neck nice got it in my hair great yep and I just straightened my hair guys <laughs> you know what probably should pin this back up a little bit more let me just grab my clip and we'll do that don't I look cute guys Aw, look at that alright there we go So, which side should I do which? 
Hmm. We'll do this side with the brush, my right side with the brush, my left side with the sponge, all right? I'm going to go in the, br the brush first. I am using my A Cosmetics Airbrush Blur and Foundation Brush number 101. All right? So you guys can see that. There you go. Right, guys so I am gonna put on the rest of my makeup and I will be right back because this is just the um, first impressions on the foundation obviously I do the rest of my makeup so you guys can see what it looks like but I don't want this to be so long so I'm gonna do the rest of it and I will be right back alright guys stay tuned I'll be right back don't go anywhere if you want grab yourself a snack and I'll be right back <laughs> alright guys so I'm back this is <coughs> excuse me the official final look let me just take this out and then the clip and yeah that's the final look guys okay I am loving it so far so good that is the super stay 24 hour Full Coverage Foundation by Maybelline. Now, it is 5.11 p.m., all right? That is when I finished, I just finished it. So, 5.11. I'm gonna check back in in a couple of hours, and I'm gonna... Hey, my loves, all right. So, I am back to check in. It is now 10.55. Ten fifty five PM. So it's been about six hours. Give it take ten minutes, but it's just hitting about six hours. So I've been moving around with the makeup. Now one thing I did not mention before because I wanted to mention at this check-in. When I applied the foundation, I did do my trick with my nose, you know. The little trick you guys will find out in my upcoming videos now I've done this with other foundations and it's worked but I did use um, something different with when I applied with the foundation with my little trick I've never used it to do this trick um, it was new a new product so I don't know if that's the reason that it didn't work out for me or if it didn't work out because of foundation or what the situation was but my little trick that works all the time did not work today at all. As soon as I applied the foundation to my nose area, once I put the um, once I put my concealer right down my nose right here, and my con you know to snatch my nose with the contour, the foundation wiped right off but right away. I had no other problems anywhere else. I applied my contour on my face; it didn't wipe off. So I'm thinking it is my trick, and that's what was a problem. So I am gonna give this foundation another try because I really like it. Everywhere else looks really, really good, amazing. I'm gonna zoom in in a minute, but everything else looks amazing. But the the nose, the nose, horrible. And I really think it's because of my trick, honestly. I really do because, like I said, everything else worked out amazing. And just my nose, I have in this area right here. I will zoom in, like I said. But all of them right here, it is, it like, 
it, it cracked, it came off. And you can, like, when I zoom in, you'll see right here where I snatched my nose, where I put my, my concealer for the highlight. You will see all that when I zoom in. So, like I said, I'm definitely going to give this another try and not do my little trick and see what happens. I'll either do another video on it or I will just update this video with the description in it. So, most likely I will probably update this or who knows, maybe I'll do another video giving this another try. Alright, I'll probably do that without, with some different products, whatnot, and yeah. But let's zoom in so you can see this so I can finish up this check-in and call it a night. <laughs> so we're going to zoom in. And we're going to focus. I'm going to come in really, really close. Sorry, I know you guys don't want to see me this close, but I want you guys to see what I mean. All right, so you see <laughs> right in here. Let me, let me get in there. All right. So look, right there you can see it coming off. All right here. All in through there and you can see here where I snatched my nose. It came off guys. But like I said, I really think this is because of my little, little trick that I did. Honestly, that's what I think. So that little trick was a big no-go, obviously. So, yeah, that sucks. But, like I said, I really do like it. I think it came out amazing. My face looks great. Like, look at this. Whew. It looks good. Let me come in closer. Look at that. I mean, it's only been six hours and it's a, it claims to be 24 hours, so. But honestly, I don't think any foundation is 24 hours and who's gonna wear it for 24 hours? I'm not. I mean, hey, who knows? I might have like a crazy wild night with my husband and who knows? I might, you know, knock out and who knows? But, so far so good. Other than my nose situation, I really do recommend this foundation. So with it breaking a part of my nose, <laughs> I'm still gonna give it a thumbs up and I'm gonna recommend it to anyone who wants to try it because like I said, it is amazing other than my nose situation because I really, really think it's my trick that I did that really ruined that part. I was gonna try it without it, but I'm like, you know what? I wanna see how this really does work. Let me give it a good try with how I would normally wear it. So I tried it, no go guys. <clears throat> Big fail. But we will give us another try. <laughs> All right? So thank you for tuning in to my channel. I appreciate it. I would love it if you click on the subscribe button below. Click the bell next to it for more notifications from me. You'll see all my new videos. Please like, comment, and share. All right? Thank you very much for watching my video. Guys, guys, ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, whoever's watching, have a wonderful night, and I'll see you on my next video. All right. Bye.